so we actually gave it a respin and it came out even creamier than before. It is like velvety smooth. My love for ice cream has been very well documented throughout the years. In fact, if you know me personally, you know that I love ice cream. And this dates back to early childhood years. My mom can corroborate this story. So apparently when I was younger, I would literally wake up in the middle of the night, walk to the kitchen and grab a spoon and scoop out one single scoop of ice cream, eat it, and then go back to bed. <laughs> and apparently I did this for years. So. Uh, I think I have a pretty good grasp of, of all things ice cream, so much so that I've had a number of different ice cream machines throughout the years. So I believe my first one was the kind where you had to take the bucket out, freeze it overnight. Next day you can finally make some ice cream. Super annoying, but it got the job done and it was great for what it was. Then eventually I upgraded to something like this that has its own compressor. So you can make your ice cream base, get all your mixins and stuff together and literally make ice cream, eat ice cream the same day. And this has been phenomenal. This is a Cuisin Art. It's pretty heavy. This feels like it's maybe like 25, 30 pounds. So it's not necessarily portable, but it does work. Even after many years of consistent use, I still would recommend this ice cream machine if this was more your style. That being said, it makes no sense why it took me so long to grab onto this new craze that is, it's not even a new craze, the craze that is the Ninja Creamy. I love ice cream. I would love to eat ice cream every single day and have a healthier option than buying store-bought kind or even you know, the not so healthy creations that I've made in this. And it seems like the Ninja Creamy is the answer to most ice cream lovers' problems. How can I, in the most convenient way, have ice cream all the time and not blow up like a blimp <laughs> eating it every day? So I have scoured the YouTube universe and all things point to Ninja Creamy. I am so excited to finally have this in my kitchen. I've had it for a few days now, and I just really wanted to wait and be able to have time to unbox this on camera for all of you to see and uh, make my first ice cream with it. So here we go. Now, I decided on this specific version, the Creamy Deluxe, for a number of different reasons, but mainly in three categories, which was cost, value, and convenience. So the cost aspect, I went with the Deluxe over the original because Costco was actually selling the Deluxe version cheaper than Amazon was selling the regular version. So I picked this up at Costco for $179. Amazon was selling the regular version for $199. I think that was the cheapest that I saw it. So if you haven't purchased one and you're looking to purchase one, please check Costco for their price on this because you probably will get a better deal than buying it on Amazon or even buying it directly from Ninja. So the cost of the unit, plus the additional savings from being able to make your own ice cream at home, it's a no-brainer. From an ice cream lover, ice cream consumer, one that consumes on a regular basis, this is going to pay for itself probably in a few months, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you, especially because I'm craving ice cream <laughs> throughout this last trimester of my pregnancy. So, opening the box, let me uh, figure out the best way to take this out. And there we go. It has two pint containers. Actually, it looks like there's three. So I think maybe the one on Amazon, I could be wrong. I think that one only comes with two. So the fact that this comes with three deluxe pints is pretty awesome. Shout out to Costco and whoever was responsible for making this deal because it's a pretty great value. That's it, that's all that's in the box. So we have the unit itself, which is pretty fancy if you ask me. You also have the pints. Here's pint number one, here's pint number two. And I'm assuming there's a third one because there's a top here. So maybe it's here in the container already. I was right. So the third one came pre-installed in the unit. And yeah, here's the Ninja Creamy. I have everything out of the box now, so I'm gonna walk through everything that actually comes in the box. So you have the quick start guide. Next, you have the full recipe book. It has about 30 different recipes and charts for all different types of frozen creations, from ice cream to sorbets to milkshakes and everything in between. And then you have important safety instructions, which I highly recommend just kind of looking through so you are able to operate this safely. Next in line, you have what is called the outer bowl and outer lid. This actually comes off and this is where you would actually put put the pint in and put it in here. It has these ridges at the bottom that align with the ridges on the bottom of the pints. 
So you sit there so it's situated in those ridges. Obviously you're not going to have the ice cream lid or the pint lid on it when actually doing your mixing and ice cream creation. So you have the lid here, got a nice little silicone ring here in the bottom. All of this is made out of very sturdy, I'm assuming this is a type of plastic, but it feels really solid and, and heavy duty in the hand. And this is actually where you attach the creamerizer paddle. So this is the blade that actually blends up your frozen desserts. To install this, you'll push the latch that way so it opens up and your creamerizer paddle is able to just sit in there. You let the paddle go on the other side and now it's nice and secure. Here's the outer bowl. This is where you put the pint into. You have the outer lid and this goes in snug. And now it's ready to actually install into the Creamy Deluxe. So the Creamy Deluxe unit in and of itself has, I believe, five more options of creamy desserts than does its predecessor, the regular Ninja Creamy. So with this machine, you can do ice cream, light ice cream, sorbet, gelato, frozen yogurt, creamy chino, frozen drink, slushy, a milkshake, and also Italian ice. A few of the other buttons and indicators on here are the install indicator. So if this was not installed properly or maybe the paddle wasn't installed right on the actual bowl, then this light would come on and it actually won't process your ice cream until that issue is addressed. Another thing to point out is the minutes here. So in the regular version, it's a few different lights that light up to show you how far in the process of your ice cream the creamy is. But with this one, it actually tells you how many minutes is left. And next, you also have the power button, you have the mix-in option, you have the respin. This is actually pretty cool. This is like the advanced features on this one versus the regular creamy. So you can actually blend or create different amounts within the same pint container. So you can blend it from just the top and it won't do the bottom. You can do the full creamy amount, or if you've already eaten <laughs> the top half of it, you can select this option to just creamerize what's on the bottom, and you can have two different flavors in there. You can do all sorts of types of things, and I'm really excited to just see how this works and how this satisfies my ice cream cravings. The next thing I want to talk about is the value proposition of buying this Ninja Creamy Deluxe. These containers are 50% larger than the original creamy pints, so you're getting more ice cream for a little bit more ingredients and a little bit more time and maybe an extra spin, but that's value upon value, especially when you compare the ice cream that you're able to make at home versus what you're able to buy in store. You don't know where these ingredients are coming from. There's a bunch of emulsifiers and stabilizers in the ice creams that we're able to purchase at the store. Even the healthiest versions of ice creams that we can buy at the store, there's still additives in these that are simply not present when you can just make this stuff at home. Another thing that I value is that I'm able to use this to optimize my diet. And I say that because if you scour YouTube like I have, you will come across hundreds of amazing flavors and combinations where you're able to optimize your protein intake in your everyday diet. So I'm looking forward to being able to get my macros accounted for, consumed, uh, in a way that's enjoyable to me, where I don't feel guilty or I don't feel like I'm, I'm eating too much or I'm sacrificing a caloric deficit because I have a sweet tooth. Next up is convenience. We're still talking about the pints here. Um, outside of it being 50% more than the original pint, just the ability to have a ton of these prepared and ready to go, a bunch of different options of flavor combinations that you can do so you can satisfy whatever craving that you might have. These fit into the freezer. Uh, I wish the quality of this container could shine through um, in this video, but like this is a solid container. I'm pretty clumsy, so I'm sure I'm gonna drop these at some point. But just being able to have a ton of those in the freezer and ready to go at a moment's notice is super convenient and I'm here for it. Even though the Creamy Deluxe coming from Costco comes with those three pint containers already um, in the box, I highly recommend actually getting additional creamy pints. I don't know how much ice cream I'm about to be consuming, but I know that three may not do it, especially if I'm planning to eat this all throughout the week, possibly even multiple times in a day. I want to never have a shortage of pint containers because having to wait 24 hours when you're craving a specific craving is just 
Nobody wants to go through that. I already knew that I was going to purchase the Ninja Creamy Deluxe. I just didn't know where. And even though I didn't know where I was gonna get the unit, I knew I was going to want extra units. So I went ahead and just purchased these extra units off of Amazon. They were actually running a little sale, so I got like five or 10% off. And now, the same day I'm unboxing the unit, we can still make ice cream. So I highly recommend that you go and buy some additional containers ahead of you actually getting the unit. You can always return it if you decide to change your mind, but that way you won't have to suffer through the agony of having the machine in your house and having to wait another 24 hours before you can actually use it. So my daughter and I made these yesterday, which leads me into my next, I guess, bonus reason. This is a great way to have family time. My daughter is always in the kitchen with me. She's always cooking and making stuff. She's like any other kid that enjoys sweets. So it's awesome to be able to show her different recipes, healthier recipes, um, and just spend that quality time and get her creative juices flowing, creating recipes and all of that. So we are about to make a sorbet. I just took these out of the freezer, super excited to make these. Uh, we didn't really follow any particular recipe, we just had some fruit that was laying around as we normally do and decided to just come up with some flavors. So this one is a pineapple, mango, strawberry mix and then this one is a pineapple and pear mix. We literally just cut up the pineapple, cut up the mango, dice up the strawberries, put it in here and used an emulsion blender, actually while everything was in the container, and just blended it all up and then stuck both of them in the freezer. And now I just took them out of the freezer. They're gonna thaw for about 10, 15 minutes on the counter. And while those are thawing, I'm gonna go ahead and clean out all the accessories that came in the box. So we got the lid that we need to clean out. We have the paddle creamerizer that we need to clean out. Obviously take care of all the pints and the outer lid and I feel like by that time, we'll be ready to make a sorbet. All right, now that the pints have been sitting out for about 15, 20 minutes while I got everything washed up, I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the blade or the creamy creamerizer paddle. And you do that by pushing this forward, flipping it over, and just go ahead and install that blade in there like so. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the lid of this pint because this is the one that we're gonna make first. Situate this in here to where the little ridges on the bottom fit snugly, and then install the, the lid. And then you just slide that forward until it clicks. Now that we got the pint installed into the outer bowl with the lid on top, we're simply gonna slide this into the Creamy Deluxe, turn it to the right, push the power button. You see the install button is not illuminated, so that means we have installed this correctly. I'm gonna go ahead and click Full, turn the dial, it's fancy, turn the dial to sorbet, and then um, push to start. All right, so it just stopped. I have the enjoy button illuminated right here. I don't know if you can really see that on the screen, but we're gonna go ahead and rotate this out. Take it out and see what we got. This is the first spin and it looks really good. So we actually gave it a re-spin and it came out even creamier than before. Oh my gosh, it feels like a sorbet. Let's go ahead and get a taste test. That is perfect. Like we didn't add any sugar to it. We didn't add anything, just mangoes, pineapple, and strawberry. I'm gonna love this thing. This is so good. <laughs> wow. All right, next test is obviously the toddler taste test. I'm gonna tell more of that. That thing tastes really good. So two thumbs up? Mm -hmm. This is a good investment? Actually, 100 thumbs up. 100 thumbs up. <laughs> so there you have it. This is little kid approved. That's why I want some more. <laughs> I highly recommend this. I am looking forward to so many more recipes, including the pineapple pear that we already made. And um, yeah. Super good. Super good. 100 <laughs> thumbs up for wow. <laughs> baby loves it too, right baby? Yep, Ooh, baby yeah. loves it too. Till next time, see you guys later. We're about to go finish our, our sorbet. Mm.